it was a weird time that for like <laughs> mid middle class home counties white guys because yeah it's sort of like that the whole movement exploded and it was um it was obviously a very emotive video that kicked it all off uh we well, didn't really kick it off but i mean it ignited it right yeah, it ignited on, it, yeah earlier this year um and i shared like like everyone shared the black square on their instagram yeah and I caught some flack from some people about it, and they said like, "Oh, so have you have you changed the world today by like sharing your, yeah. your black square?" <laughs> and and I was like, "I know it's silly, like to sort of you know to to mock you know me in my sort of my little house in the home counties and yeah." But I, I was like, "I know I have <laughs> I have black friends," <laughs> and I was, I was like, like <laughs> "I would hate for them to think that." I, I was not being supportive and if 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 me sharing this in just some very you know silly little a Thompson way can just show them that I'm not against it and that I'm on board with it and I support it um even if it you know I'm not I'm not like donating I'm not out on marches or anything but if like it's a a silly thing that a guy who's basically locked up in a house looking after two kids like if it's a thing a little thing I can do then maybe that will help some someone or some you know like yeah w- was the way that i was looking at it um, i agree with you because some people really got to, got a lot of black for that and i posted it and someone was like do you know that you actually you should post it with this and not with the you know the black lives matter hashtag and i'm like we're all learning not everyone was having this conversation six months ago no i, mean, I have always been having this conversation because you know i've i've always ha- come up against those conversations oh you know um yeah, you're a black woman or you're this or that or things that work, you know, and, and just like little things that I would, you know, because I, I, I don't mind educating. I never really got angry, but you know, this also brought up a lot of trauma and a lot of things like, oh, that did happen because it was this. Yeah. For me, it was it was nice to see friends supporting it because some friends didn't say anything and that hurt even more because I was like, that means you don't care about me. Yeah, I mean, I suppose... No, 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 that sounds really harsh, but it's like, you don't, you know, like, and, and obviously I wouldn't sort of, you know, bring them out to dry and sort of be like, we're not going to be friends anymore unless they did something really bad. But, you know, mm. at the same time, it's really nice to be validated for your experiences. Yeah. And I, I suppose it's like, you've got to be a bit, uh, what's the word, sensitive to what people themselves, that, like they may have just had a fucking rough two weeks of their own life, like in yeah. that same period and they just didn't get around to posting it or they didn't yeah. you know they were aware yeah. of it but they just like their mum died or their you know true and it also was covid mm. so it was like we were right at the beginning of a pandemic and then you know which also i think highlighted it as well yeah yeah, yeah. but then there's there's the sort of flip side of it where i i have to sort of check myself where i'm like okay look i saw the video the video is fucking gross uh, yeah, something has to change, and I'm, yeah. I'm bewildered when I see uh, that sort of like ap- apparatus in America that it's it's still going on and it's still just getting like brushed up under the carpet, yeah. etc. And then I sort of think like there is a bit of like American fetishism to this, in the sense that if that was a Eskimo guy who was like suffocated to death or you know or, or but like murdered by a policeman um yeah in let's say it happened well maybe not an eskimo but like if it was if it was somebody else in a different country in like you know eastern yeah. europe or like uh, out of mongolia or like somewhere do i can i credibly say that i think it would have had the same reaction worldwide as black lives matter did and no. i don't think it would you know why? So it no, so it is, like why is that? Is that because we in the UK and and the rest of like Western and Northern Europe identify way way more with American society because of like films and music and so on, or is it that we think like America's kind of cool and then when a big protest movement yeah. kicks off, then we're like ah oh, us too yeah we're here too like is is there an element of that? No, no, it's basically the systemic fact and facts in data that every day a black man gets killed like that by police. Mm. So there's 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 a huge amount, every, loads of people get pe- killed by the police 
every day, every week, every year. But the, the numbers are that they consistently and system, systemically go after black men. Mm. And so this, if you've watched 13th, it's like they stopped slavery only to put it into a jail, jail sentence. Yeah. You know, the jails make money out of, you know, sort of stopping black men. So if black men get stopped for a $20, you know, uh, bit of weed yeah. and he gets 30 years in jail. Yeah. It's like a white guy and he gets a rap on the knuckles. Or, you know, all the all the, the rich kids, rich, rich white kids who are selling cocaine and sleeping with prostitutes get a rap on the knuckle. Mm. And I can say Brock Turner. I don't I used was, to write a diary you know, when I was younger. Yeah, he's a swimmer. He yeah. probably is a woman nice and they saw kind of him doing it. Like, yeah, yeah I, I was an activist and I stood up and I because I said he had a life and I shot people. Then we don't want to ruin it. Yeah. Whereas if that was a black guy, he would be on the death penalty.